Today we will be looking at PubMed's new interface. The new interface will be the default in mid-May of 2020. To access PubMed, you will want to click on our link through the Welch Medical Library. The PubMed link will take you to the legacy PubMed. PubMed New will take you to the new interface. If we scroll below, we see a lot of the same tools that we recognize from legacy PubMed, such as the Advanced Search, Clinical Queries, Single Citation Matcher, and the MeSH database. I'm going to begin our use of the new interface by just typing in a simple search. For this time, I'm going to be going straight to our advanced search. In our advanced, we'll see our history and our search details. Search details used to be on the main results display of Legacy PubMed. They are now located in our history by simply clicking on the caret key, we can see that PubMed used automatic term mapping to try and define our search a little better. We also have our same query box that we had in Legacy PubMed. Up here, we can simply type our search term in and click the field where we want it to be searched, or we can enter the information in our query box. I can click search to immediately take me back into PubMed to perform the search, or I can hover on the arrow and go to add to history. That way it comes immediately into my history box here. If I wanted to add my two searches together, I now have to click on the action buttons. Those dots will allow me to add it to the query for my second concept, if I click on it, I now have the option to add it with my Boolean operators. If I hover on this arrow again, I get my search button back and we can go into PubMed. On our results display page, we see it looks a little bit different than in legacy PubMed. To begin, it automatically is sorted by best match and it automatically shows with these summary snippets. These snippets provide bolded text from words that were used in our search strategies. And it just gives you a brief overview of what the article is about. To change this or to change the way your results are sorted, just go to the gear and you can select abstract for your format display, or you can switch to most recent and publication date for your sort by. We now have a results by year slider on the left-hand side to easily limit your years. We also have a new filter called associated data. By clicking this filter, you will get the articles that limit to those that have associated data with them, such as a direct link to their clinicaltrials.gov information. Additional things on a results page is our save function. You can save all the results, results just on the page showing or just the selection that you checked. And your format, you have a few different options. In Legacy PubMed, oftentimes you would want to save it in the format of Medline. That is now called the PubMed for format. Your email features are the same. And your send to is where you'll find your clipboard my Bibliography, Collections, or the Citation Manager link. If I click into an article, our page display is a little different as well. We now have arrows on the left and right to easily navigate to the next and previous results. By just hovering on those, we get a little bit of a snippet of what is coming up next. Over on the right hand side, we still have our find it at JH button. We now have a cite button. We get the quick citation text, which we can copy or download as a .nbib file. 
and we can select our output format. You also have the option to share it easily now via Twitter or Facebook or by getting a permalink that you can send to somebody. On the right hand side, we now have page navigation as well. These will take you to the different parts of the citation and the articles. Most of these are now found below the article itself. Now let's look at phrase searching options. I'm going to go back to my advanced screen. To search for a specific phrase, you can use one of the following formats. We can put it in double quotations. We can use a field tag. Or we can use a hyphen. You'll re see our results are the same, no matter which way we choose to search for it. To browse an indexed phrase, you can still click the show indexed feature on the right hand side. Phrases may appear in PubMed record, but they may not be in our phrase index. So if you are using quotation marks or a field tag on those phrases that are not found in the phrase index, items will be ignored and the phrase is processed using automatic term mapping. If you're using a hyphen between those phrases, the search will use automatic term mapping and treat the hyphenated word as one and the additional words would be searched separately. Remember when you're doing phrase searching and additional searching, you can always use that truncation tool, which is the asterisk. For instance, if I do EDUC asterisk, we're telling the database to look for education, educational educators, etc. In Legacy PubMed, you could not use the asterisk within double quotation marks. However, in new PubMed, you can now do that. So if you're searching for a phrase, you can always use that truncation tool inside double quotations now. You can also use that truncation with your field tag as previously in Legacy PubMed. And we can also use it with the hyphen. You'll see once again, we get the same number of results no matter which way we use it. If using the truncation tool, please remember that you must provide at least four characters prior to the truncation term and your truncated term must be the last word in the phrase. If your phrase is not found in the index, such as ventricular atrial shunt, we can still search for it by trying one of the tools with the truncation. We can try it with our quotation marks using a term that is found in the index. And we can try it with the field tag. And we see we're able to find results without getting the error from PubMed. If you're not finding one of the tools or items you liked in Legacy PubMed, feel free to use the feedback button in the lower right hand corner. This will send your feedback directly to the National Library of Medicine or NLM and they will get back to you telling you where that tool is now located or if they're in the process of still 
getting it integrated into the new PubMed interface. Remember, if you have questions about this or other databases or resources, please contact the informationist for your department or check out one of our many guides. Thank you.